Hey guys, Ruth Lucario here. Anyways. Yeah, there are some options on updates for from Windows Home users. There's a pause button that allows you to pause an update for seven days or change active hours, view update history or advanced options. They have given home users more control it seems over their updates. Maybe enough people complained. But anyways, Oh, whoops, didn't close this thing out. Or, you can, rest you can update and restart, or update and shut down, which was a feature, which the update and restart was a feature that also came with Windows 7, as far as my knowledge goes. But the difference, but what's the difference between Windows 7 updates and Windows 10 updates? Well, Windows 7 updates, I was not always a big fan of. It would... Windows 7 was was weak in security terms. <sighs> it was doomed from the start. Most ransomware, most malware, most virus, most any type of virus was al was allowed to run on the system. So I get why they ended support for it. It wasn't really that good of an operating system. They did have an extended, they do have an extended support program. As far as my knowledge goes, it only lasts like three years since 2020, I think. Since, since the end date, which was 2020. But they might stop that earlier. Who knows? But you'd have to pay for each of the three years. For extended support and it was only for available for pro users they ended the free offer for Windows 10 for Windows 7 users and the meaning of this is my theory goes is because they given up all support for it so if you have when Windows 7 and want to upgrade to Windows 10 you might need a CD You might need a Windows 10 CD. You might need a Windows 10 CD. You can... You can buy it at places like Walmart if they're selling it at your local Walmart. Or you can buy it from their site, Windows 10 Home. Or you can buy Windows 10 Pro off a third-party site or off eBay or something. I think the same goes for home. But just be careful what state it's in because it just like a gaming console, computers, same deal with CDs, they need they need to be able to read it. So yeah. Also, you might want to check your hard you might want to check if your hardware is compatible with Windows 10 before if your Windows 7 hardware is compatible with Windows 10 because if you miss that, your operating system is going to move at a snail's pace. It's really going to be super slow. 
and will probably cause blue screens of death, freezing. Okay, so we got Windows 10 CD and hardware equipment. Now we need to set our preferences. You can disable the the data collecting features on startup or if you're cool with it just like me you can keep them Some people people like to. Sh I don't know which. Part of the settings that was but um if you do know there's an option to do full send which will send everything like all your data all your computer activity what you did in the search bar what you did in the browsers the hours of time you had on on an on a computer app Windows 10 was always meant to collect data. And Windows 10 has been around for like six years. So it's pretty new. So, well, it's not pretty new, it's kind of new. It's it gets older by every year. It came in 2015. They yeah, have come up with a new Windows 11 operating system. They yeah, have come up with an idea of Windows 11. For Yeah, they came out on it with June 24, 2021. All it was going to be was All it was going to be was a better a better version of Windows 10 always gonna be was a better operating system than Windows 10 it was gonna be always gonna be was an operating system that was a little better than Windows 10 it still was going to have a lot of features that Windows 10 had, but it was going to be a calmer operating system as far as my knowledge goes. Maybe not, who knows, but it was just going to be a faster version of Windows 10. 
That's all as far as my knowledge goes. Because they get faster each operating system. Name Bake. Yeah, back back when Windows 10 came out, the updates were a bit forceful. Just be careful when you're listening to fanboys on the internet when you're continuing to use Windows 7 because you don't know their internet activity. You don't know You don't know what they did to keep themselves protected. Remember that they're only they're only people. They're only one person. They're only they're only people. They they're only different people. So, Windows 7 update is not Windows 7, but Windows 10 is at version 21H1. Windows 10 might have a free install of Windows 11. So, um, yeah, be careful with Windows 7, because without any support, you're not going to get any new security measures. You can't get a Windows 7 CD. And downgrade to Windows 7 if... If you don't like Windows 10, but you can get it off of Amazon or something like that. But also make... If you don't like Windows 10, you can always roll back to Windows 7 by buying a Windows 7 CD. Just make sure you have enough money in your pocket. I haven't updated to the latest version yet. And we'll go back to the previous Windows 10 version may or may not be avail may not may or may not be supported anymore soon because Windows 7 will no longer have value so it would not and it wouldn't surprise me if it did have value Speed of Windows 7 updates compared to Windows 10 updates. When it comes to updates, I think Windows 10 dominates. I think there's still a little code in Windows 7. I don't know if they've gotten rid of it yet, but they just haven't gotten rid of it yet, in my opinion.
So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hi, PJ. <laughs> PJ on Roblox. <sighs> that's funny. Not. So, yeah, that wraps up this video pretty much. Bye for now. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and click the notification button and click all for new content that I do on my for content that I do on my channel. Go watch that if you haven't. So yeah, I pretty much said enough. The results speak for themselves. Bye.